In the previous episode, we talked about a marketing checklist. After you've done those traditional things like sending out a press release or e-blasting your list or social media posts, now it's time to think about ways that we can extend the life of the album by doing some outside the box marketing strategies. And that's what I want to talk about today. My name is Scott and I host a podcast called Other Record Labels. I'm doing a series on how to start a record label and I've taken 31 tips and you can watch all of those, the previous ones and the ones that are about to come um, here on the channel and subscribe. You can also get everything in a checklist that I have as a download for free at otherrecordlabels.com slash checklist. Let's talk today about outside the box marketing strategies. I think it's really important that once you've said, okay, we've done these things um, that are traditional, now what are more ways that we can find to promote the record? And this is where I think you can have a lot of fun. And this to me is like a separate checklist. This is an additional set of things that you can do. For us, an example is that, you know, with one release, we sent physical postcards in the mail. You remember the mail? And what we did was we took a mailing list from people who had bought the artist's first record. Now this was their sophomore release. And so we sent them a physical postcard where we wrote on it, and I think it maybe cost us under a hundred bucks. It was like, um, you know, just the stamps and printing of these postcards. But this was a way to cut above the noise. If everyone is responding and seeing social media posts, this is something that comes to their actual mailbox. And that was what the type of things that I'm talking about. And I want you to make your own list of like outside the box things. I mean, we're talking like putting up posters around town that are normally reserved for garage sale posters but are promoting the records. We've done that before. You could pitch to third party playlisters. So think of like friends or family who have playlists and you can email them and say, hey, can you put this song on a playlist? Um, you can do an audio commentary uh, to Bandcamp or, or um, you can even do a, a podcast audio commentary track by track where you have the band in and record. You can even record on an iPhone of them kind of like breaking down the recording process and the writing process. Have other artists on your label promote the new release. That's a really big one. You can release on Bandcamp a few days early as an exclusive thing. One of the things I've seen my friend do, he's a local artist and he does this really well, is on the day that he releases a new single, he will text or Facebook message a bunch of his friends, like 30 or 40 friends, and ask them to share the new single. And sure enough, these friends, because they love him and they care about him, they put up a post and say, check out this new single. And then all of a sudden these organic natural posts, not paid posts show up in people's feeds and uh, it creates more and more awareness for the single. And I think it, it like it really works for him. Um, so there are a lot of outside the box marketing strategies you can do. And I would encourage you to create your traditional marketing list that you do for every album and then a different list that you could do just for this album um, where you can find more ways to reach more listeners and take a piece of chalk and go out and advertise on the sidewalk. This is where you can have a lot of fun with things um, and it will help you stand out from other releases that are out there every week. Um, speaking of checklists, make sure you download our checklist at otherrecordlabels.com slash checklist. Thanks for watching.